Consider, I mean, if we had rapid transit on Eglinton, consider how many more people would have been here. <laughs> um, so I wanna, I wanna welcome you all. Um, Councillor Stintz and I, believe that it was vital to hold a town hall meeting to be able to share the facts and the evidence that were offered to us that led us towards the conclusions that we personally arrived at on our own and for our communities. There's been a lot of rhetoric, there's been a lot of uh, uh, politics regarding this whole transit debate, and there's been a lot of false promises and a lot of things set out there that I believe should be corrected. But tonight is about simply hearing the evidence that we considered. Tonight you're gonna to be hearing, I just wanna make sure that I get all the, the points right. You're gonna be hearing from Anna Pace. She's the Director of Strategic Partnerships with the Transit Expansion Department of the Toronto Transit Commission. She's responsible for communications and community relations. She's been with the TTC for three years and previously with the City of Toronto with the City Manager's Office and City Planning, Anna Pace. We're also joined by Professor Andre Sorensen. Andre Sorensen is the Associate Professor of Urban Geography in the Department of Social Science, University of Toronto in Scarborough. He's published extensively on urbanization, land development and planning history. And his most recent book, Urban Form, Government, Governance and Sustainability was published last year. And uh, Professor Sorensen is gonna be talking about everything from, you know, where, w you know, w get away from the debate about subways versus uh, LRTs versus all that, but what technology makes sense based on the density projections, the population, the ridership, ridership proje uh, projections that evidence demonstrates. Um, I also want, thank you. I also want to recognize our colleague, um, Councillor John Parker, who's joining us this evening. And if there are any other councillors who show up tonight, uh, please please identify yourselves, and I'd be happy to acknowledge your your presence. Um, you know, this has been this has been a remarkable journey uh, personally for me. Uh, when I was elected uh, back in October 2010. Um, I came into office uh, believing that we needed to always make evidence-based decisions and not get into the rhetoric between what is left-wing, what is right-wing, because if, if you actually listen to the evidence, it will be demonstrated to you that the plan that Council approved only a little more than two weeks ago is actually a very fiscally responsible, some might even say conservative plan, that uses every dollar wisely, that maximizes every transit dollar that we've been allocated by the province and ensures that we use every dollar to increase and enhance and expand public transportation for every corner of the city. 